Whether you're a foam shooter or not, there's a nice little app called Light Spectrum Pro. This great little app allows you to get a Kelvin value very easily. Here we see we have a cloudy day. Our reading is 5,287 Kelvin. Also along the bottom, it gives you a temperature and tint scale. Phones, I think, are pretty good at getting white balance right. However, what's important is after you get the auto white balance reading, then set that Kelvin value to manual so that it doesn't change on you as you move the camera around. So we're using the Beast Cam app from Beast Grip here. Select auto white balance, which is saying it's 5283 Kelvin. This matches what we saw on the Light Spectrum Pro app. Now, if you're using a gray card, as we are here, go back to auto white balance and then zoom in to the gray card to fill the frame as much as possible. Now this app has a white balance gray card icon. Our exposure reticle circle is on the gray card. Select this and we see that the value now reads 4734 Kelvin. Also in this app, you can save this to a preset by clicking on position one, two or three. They turn blue saying it's set. Now we can zoom out and our white balance is set at 4,734 Kelvin. Now let's do this again with a different app called Filmic Pro, which doesn't have a gray card setting. However, we can still do this. Click on the color icon lower left. Here we see that auto white balance is saying it's 5280 Kelvin. Zoom into the gray card, making sure the exposure reticle is on the card. Open up the color icon. Now we see that the auto white balance, it's saying it's at 4,888 Kelvin. Press the blue AWB icon lower right to lock it, and this will turn red. Now we can zoom out, and our white balance is locked. And now we can shoot our video. So as you can see, phones are very good and very accurate at taking white balance. So a simple way if you don't have a gray card is go to auto white balance and then just lock it into manual for a Kelvin reading. Also, if you're using a mirrorless camera, this little, they don't have normal auto white balance meters, but you can get a reading from a phone app such as this Evo app called Light Spectrum Pro. And there's many others. All right, let's move on to the next video.